own child. I said, man, I see spend day with all of now today now. Most of you small. You want to chill with the big boy? I said, I still spend time with all my girls and family before I go out. Yeah, I was in Boston, Massachusetts for a short meeting. Right now, I'm in Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas, USA. The home of the tiger and uh, the lion. This is Dallas. I'm in Dallas, Texas. The home of the tiger and the lion who claim to be a detective and all that many years ago they castigated my name all over social media the records are still there where they call me all sort of names they call me all sort of things i'm talking to talking about this our guy the short guy what's his name the short what's the short guy's name i forgot his uh Iranomigo. they castigated me this man castigated me over social media that I was such a bad person, that I'm a criminal, I'm a this, I'm a that. Huh? That I'm a criminal, that I'm a this, that I'm a that. But guess what? As I speak to you today, the young man, immediate younger brother, is in prison in Europe. The young man, immediate brother, the person who was condemning me, that I'm this and that, trying to spoil my good name that God has blessed me with. His own brother is currently in Euro prison and he called himself a freedom fighter. And now you want to run for House of Rep or whatever. I saw his posters, I just laughed. We cannot be associated with the family of criminals. Of course not. We cannot be associated with the family of criminals. One time the young man was mocking me. He said that uh, my family is a family of uh, taxi drivers. That was what Eranomigo said. But guess what, Eranomigo? It is better to be a family of taxi driver and have integrity than to be a family of army generals, army officers, or navy officers, and be full of deceit, crime, hate. Yes, it is better to be from a family of taxi driver and live peacefully, love people, be kind to people, and have integrity than to be from a family of, my son is in the army, my son is in the army, I'm from the army family, army family, it's called army family. Army is a minimum salary in America. Army is begging people to join the army. They are begging, they are recruiting army. So, your son being in the army is not a big deal. Maybe your son was a, a, a scientist then I can understand. So, my people, one, if you plan people bad, that's who they plan, fear happen to you. And that's the same case of Iran Amigo. Iran Amigo even said one time that he was calling the, the, the CIA or the FBI on me for something I did not do. For something I did not do. The young man said he was calling me, he was calling, what did I do wrong? I don't even know you, bro. I've only seen you once all my life. I've only seen it amigo once all my life, and that was during the adult convention in Canada. I have not, we have not business, we have not done any transactions together, nothing. Why so much hate? You are planning bad on me. Now your brother is in Kirikiri, and we are rolling in chair. We are rolling in chair. Huh? Before you can talk about freeing people, you need to change the name of your TV station, actually, my brother. I know you also see this as a hit instead of pure truth. Because I don't scare, I'm not scared of anybody. The only person I fear in my life is God. If I love you, if I respect you, it doesn't mean I'm scared of you. Alright? The name of the TV channel should start, start from People Freedom Movement. You need to change the name. Because you can't tell me you are freeing people and your brother has been in prison for the past six months, going to a year. And you have not done something about it and you are talking about politics does that even make sense let's be honest to ourselves a person whose brother has been locked up and he called himself a people's freedom movement person immediate brother eh? family of criminals hmm? his own immediate brother has been in prison he has not freed the person 
He is worried about politics. And is that not a selfish interest politics? That's a, a politics of selfish interest. This is the same person that came to Nigeria and stayed in Lagos. He could not even enter Benin to go and see his own mother. This is the same person who claimed to be an American detective. An American this. You came to Nigeria. You could not even leave Lagos to visit your village, to visit your mother because you were afraid, you were scared, scared of one little bush rat, you're scared of uh, Abbott, you're scared of Abbott, bro. The records are there when you were shouting Abbott, Abbott, my boy said, oh, you are scared like a chicken, bro, and you call yourself an American. I live in Benin City. I stay in Benin City. I let everybody know I'm in Benin City. I even visited Abbott's house. When Abbott saw me, Abbott thought I was there for war. I visited Abbott, Abbott's house while I was doing business in the neighborhood. As Abbott seen me, the guy take over that house. He was scared. But we didn't go there for that. We didn't go to Abbott's house to go and look for trouble. We were in the neighborhood and my agent told me that, see Abbott's house, so I said, how about live here? Let me just say hi to your brother. There was a property just two block. See the guy house. Next to her, next to a compound. One free land there. There's a free land on Abad Street. And Abad does not even know that the land is for sale. You call yourself a real estate. What, what do they call that? A real estate company. They have one real estate company they are fronting. Duke, Duke property or whatever they call them. Hmm? Duke or whatever they call them. A company that is not even registered. You as a neighborhood as a neighborhood real estate agent, they are selling a property just two blocks from you, and you are not the person totally in charge of. You are not the agent in charge of that property. That means you don't have integrity. If you are an agent and people believe in you, people love you, people understand you, and there's a property just two blocks, not even blocks, two plots, plots. If you if you're saying the truth, you know the person I'm talking about. See see the guy gets just the land there. If you call yourself an agent, there's they are selling property directly in front of your house, and you are not the, the agent to the property, it means that you are not doing a good job. It means that you are not doing a good job. Because at the end of the day, that should be your responsibility to sell that land and make some extra money. That should be your responsibility to sell that land and make extra money. You got the wrong kitty kitty kitty, come online. You know, Sagi, I don't know be your friend. Bro, how about not to hate you, man? You can never be me, bro. It will take you a lifetime to achieve many of the things I have achieved, but we don't brag about those things because it's not important. It will take you a lifetime to achieve what we already achieved at 40. But we don't need to brag about that because it's not important. What is important in this world right now is love. That's the only thing that is important. You know? The only important thing in this world right now, brothers and sisters, is love. And that is what we try to pro propagate. People will say to say again, forget, forgive and forget. No, I can never forget. Me, I can never forget where people did me wrong. I will forgive them. I will not be angry at them. But I can never forget because that's a constant lesson for me. It's a constant lesson for me. Never to forget what people do me wrong. So it doesn't repeat itself. I have been used. I have learned from it. I have been married and separated. And I have learned from it. I have been called all kinds of names. And I learned from it. So everything that happens to me as a man in life, I have taken it as a big lesson. And I have accepted it. But the courage of not being able to learn from what your mistake taught you, then that's what makes you a fool. I don't want to be a fool two times, man. I don't want to be a fool two times, brothers and sisters. I don't think I have any enemy. I don't think I have any enemy. Do you know that just the way Jonosagi acts will make some persons hate me? Can you imagine that? Just because Genosage act goofy, playful, people will hate you for being your own self. That's how bad it is. People will hate you 
for being your own self. Okay, I like playing, like playing around. I mean, that's my own lifestyle. I like dancing. Just from dancing with a woman on video, people will automatically that kind of thing that I took her home and slept with her and bang, bang the shit out of her. People will actually think that. Yeah, it's the truth. You know, I say, hey, see this guy, yeah, shh. You know, tell me, don't finish this one. But that's not my true attitude. That's not me. I'm not as bad as, as many people see it. Do I have sex? Of course I do. But is it the way people are thinking it, thinking that maybe every night I spend a night, every night with different women? No, that's, that's absolutely wrong. Because at the end of the day, I still think that the amount of time that we have every day is not even enough to achieve some of the things I would love to do every day. The amount of time, 24 hours that we have, is not enough for me. For those of you who are close to me, you may be aware. You may see how sometimes how long it takes for me to respond to you. Then you should have an idea that I'm busy. Baba, okay, let me read some comments. Uh, Baba, Ima, you say I don't like Saga. Baba, I don't like Saga. That's not me, brother. People don't understand me. That's the problem. The problem is people, not me. Because me, I am just doing the things I love to do. So I don't think I like Saga, my brother. I think that people don't understand me. When I say things, people read things to what they want to believe. What I've said may not mean what you're thinking, but you automatically have read meaning to so many things I say. And I don't think that's fair on my part. I really don't think it's fair that everybody have to think for me. Why must you think for me? At least, not be you born me now. Even my own mama said, not the thing for me again. She don't tell for the matter. I say, my son, do what pleases you. All right, guys, thank you. Okay. I am Austin Peter. I like this dude for one thing. Baba, tell us. Tell us what you like me for, Baba. Tell me what you like us for, Baba. Now, God bless you, bro. Okay, Ebiru, can you follow up with Jen and Chen to do matters? Yes, you are going to follow up on Wednesday. We have new information about that. But Joy did something that I did not like. Oh, you bought TV. I talked to me. They sent that woman 500,000. They did not send her 100,000 again. But this lady told us in the office last time I had a meeting with them that she did not give them any money. Why would she say that? A person who used her own platform to raise 600,000 for you. I asked you, did anybody say money? You are telling me no. That's very wrong. It's very, very wrong in every, every angle. And uh, it's a sign of greediness that is very common among so many Nigerians, including even dogs. You saw my dog, Albert, in Lagos. Very greedy dog, you know. So I want uh, Bodo TV to forgive her because uh, I think it's due to ignorance. You know, Oliver asks for more. I mean, you don't say it's a sign of 